Be. Not my mouth or tongue, but my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. And that goes back a few years ago. Uh, a few years ago, God filled me with the Spirit of the Holy Ghost. 1952, 1952, I was 16 years old at the time, and I had heard about the Holy Ghost. At that time, there was a, a lot of people going around Tallahassee and some areas they was called themselves getting religion. And I know you, you, you might have forgotten about that, but that was people going around telling their religion. Saying, I'm so glad I done died one time. I ain't gonna die no more. Words like that. I got Jesus way down in my soul. And some would say, I told the Lord, if you don't come with my soul, to, listen to this, to kill me dead and send me to hell. <laughs> Amen. And I didn't want that. I wanted the Holy Ghost. I had heard about the Holy Ghost a strange way. Amen. And I wanted the Holy Ghost. On June 20th, 1952, God filled me with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And a, 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 a funny thing happened, but that's a long story. I, I got to tell you sometime when you got some time. But God did that. Amen. There were four or five sisters in the community that had heard about the Holy Ghost, and they were talking about it. And I wanted the Holy Ghost. But on June 20th, God filled me with, with the Spirit. Amen. 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 I, 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 like I said, it, it, it's, 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 it's more than I can just say, uh, standing up and telling you about it, but th that was the story. And God had saved me, and I thank God for it. Right now, I got a birthday coming up in a couple of months. March is a couple of months away. Right now, I'm 88 years young. Eight, eight years young. March coming up, I'll be 89. God has been good to me. I can't tell you the whole story, but I can tell you some of it. Amen. Well, God has been good to me. And I thank God for it. Amen. And God has been good to me. And I bless God this whole day. God has been good to me. And I want to thank God for you. appreciate you. And I thank God for the, the visitors that are here today. I don't remember seeing him here again uh, 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 the first, first time, but I thank God for the, he, he looked like a minister that I know. <laughs> he, looked, he, he looked like a, a preacher I have met some time. But right now I want to give this kid brother a microphone back. Thank you. I'm glad to be in the service. I'm glad to be in the service. I'm glad to be in the service. One more
I believe in the power of prayer. I believe in believe, amen, that God is everything he says he is. Uh, I've been through things as a person in my life, amen, but sometimes when it's your spouse, it hits a little different. I thank God for how sometimes in the midst of see, one, I, I know this because I've experienced a lot of things, you know, looking at it when they came and got me and I saw the people and I, I knew something was up. I, but I, we was already had been praying, we'd already been seeking God, but I would just begin to say, Lord, you're in control of this. So, like I said, it's my spouse. And I'm sitting there looking, but I just begin to tell God, God is in control. And he had given me peace. So I didn't know how it was going to work out, but I knew it was going to be all right. Amen. But I thank God because there's so many things that happen. Like I said, it, it's different when it's somebody else. I've been in hospitals, been a minister. I pray with people. Like all of that being the case, I've been thinking through things in my life. But when it's your spouse, it was different. Yeah. Amen. But I thank God because you know through prayer, through the Lord working things out. Amen. She's sitting here. Hallelujah. Thank you. She was like, I'm going to church and I'm playing the drums and no mess, man. I was sitting there I'm thinking, if that was me, I would do the same thing. <laughs> so <laughs> I couldn't say nothing. Amen. But I thank God to see her sitting there. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So it's time. You know, and I say this in all honesty, um, you know, when we just finished celebrating, you know, 10 years of marriage, but sometimes <clears throat> Things are happening in your life that put everything in perspective. Yeah. You're thinking about this, you're thinking about that, mm -hmm. and something will happen that will put everything in perspective for you. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I'm thankful. I'm glad. I don't. <clears throat> I probably can't express what I want to say, but I'm glad. Praise God. Praise God. Because, like I said, the difference is. And like I said, I believe in prayer. I'm a man of faith. But like I said, I, I, walking in, and when I saw her, when I saw the people scurrying around, I said, something is up. You know, because they, they, cause they, you know, it, and, I, and I always, I hate when they say that because they'll tell you in a minute, oh, it's just a routine. It ain't no such thing. <laughs> Amen. But we trust in God. We believe God. You know, we always pray and ask God. To go with, I, I, I'm a believer in that. Anything I do, I try to ask God to go with me and go before me because He said He go before His sheep. Yes. Amen. So I always try to pray that prayer. Whatever I do, I try to acknowledge Him in all my ways. He said, and lean not to our own understanding, and He will direct our path. Amen. Amen. So God is faithful to His word. He's faithful to His promise. He's faithful for all those things, and I'm so very glad today. Amen. We're thankful. Amen for the service of the Lord today. Amen. At this time, amen, we'll make way for announcements. We want to say thank you, praise the Lord, for another wonderful prayer, praise and worship service. We do thank and praise the Lord for the Lord bless us all to be here this morning. We do thank and praise the Lord for being the head of life. Thank you, praise the Lord for being so good. Thank you, praise the Lord for the testimonies of praises and delivered, delivering how God bless. Um, so, Sister Christy, how the Lord brought her out and yet came to her. Thank God for Brother Jesse and the Buddha's son. That the Lord pretend to bless and strengthen them because God is, God is able. Thank God for being here. Amen. Um, and I can be a month of saints. Uh, no better place to be. I remember what David said. It had better be a house you be in the house of the Lord. And I remember what David said. He said, I'd rather be a housekeeper yeah. in the house of the Lord than to be amongst the wicked. So I just thank God for being here. It's good to be around, be around saints, I mean, true saints of God. And when I came into the church, uh, I had a good feeling about it. Uh, I had asked the sister there, uh, where y'all know, Pastor Jen, and she was saying, no, she was saying that yes, y'all was uh, associated with her there. And I had heard about y'all. As a matter of fact, my dad and uh, my brother been down here before. He may have, uh, Bishop may have seen my dad down here. Y'all, uh, earlier in the uh, couple of months ago, but I, I 
never go past the light. Mm -hmm. Dad told me that y'all was down here, but I would never go past the light. So when, when me and my dad came down here, he showed me where y'all was. You know, I had heard about y'all uh, from Cairo, Georgia. Y'all familiar with that? Yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. familiar, familiar with Tallahassee? Because I used to, I want to say it, club down here in a place called the uh, 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 the Strongest Club. Had a bad experience there. I was, I would say when I was probably about 13 years old, I was eating with the Holy Ghost. And you know, being in and out, I like slid in and out of church. I mean, the bad experience I had at the Strongest Club one night I was in there, I'm gonna tell y'all this. Uh, I was in there one night and I was sitting down had a beer in my hand. I was sitting at a table. I was sitting at the table, just drinking, having a good time, you know, just to the music and all like that. All of a sudden, I got a sudden feel. I had a thought feeling funny, just feeling funny, and I ain't know what it was. Something just came over me, and I just I went to get out, to walk out to back to my car. Before I could make it to my car, I was just a feeling came about me. I just, I just, I just had it, and I, I just all I know is, is somebody waking me up. That I had passed out. I ain't. I didn't know nothing. I don't remember. I don't remember making to my, going to the, going outside the door. I can't remember that. I just fell out and hit the floor, hit, hit the seat asphalt. I had my wallet, money, and everything in there. The thing about it was, all I know was uh, the EMS hit me, pulling me on the shoulder, saying you passed out. That's the only thing I can remember. Took me to uh, TMH. Gave me a uh, gave me a. Cast down and everything. They could never find nothing wrong with me. And I just, I had, like I said, and I, 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 to this day, I, I can't remember anything about that except for them waking me up, oh, me okay. being in the club. Oh, so, you know, I say I say it, say this. One thing about God, God, God say I know those that are, that are mine. Yeah. Amen. God has a way of bringing you back. That's right. No matter what you make, you make it run, run. Go wherever you want to go. But if God has something for you and God still loves you, He has a way of bringing you down, yeah. making you come back to Him. Yeah. So, you know, He said that, you know what David said? David said, I've been young, I've been old. You know, but I never seen a righteous forsake, see forsaken a baby bread. Mm -hmm. So, my testimony is this is I don't know whether I was gone or not. I just remember I woke, I woke up, they were waking me up, took me to the hospital. And even at that, I still uh, took that and I was coming back and still didn't give God my full attention. Still was being hard headed, being disobedient. But you know, uh, the thing I began to think about is, you know, what if I died tonight and I died in my sin? Yeah. I know that's everlasting hell waiting for me, everlasting lake of fire. So, yeah. you know, me being part of the church, backsliding, God saved marriage is right side. So my thing about that is I don't want to be lost in my sin. I don't want to go to hell. So Amen. fear of God is in me now more than ever. So I'm back. I'm back to stay. The world yeah. is not for me out there. Amen. You know, the only person I owe is, is Jesus, Jesus Christ. Amen. And I'm, I'm like Amen. Paul said, as announcing myself being a prisoner of God. You know what I'm saying? Without my own. We all walk with Christ. We really look at it. We're yes. not our own, no matter what we think. We're not our own. Yeah. God owns us, own all of us. He said, "All soul belongs to me." So we gonna stand for Him one day. Yes. And when I do stand for Him, I want to be blameless. So y'all pray my strength in Lord that I don't turn back, go back, that I keep going running for my life. Oh, believe me, we are in the last days. Whether you want to believe it or not, yes. look around the world. Look what's happening. We're in the last days. Jesus Christ is soon to come. So y'all pray my strength in the Lord. And I love being around the same. I love being here. Have a good feeling. And uh, God bless each and every one of y'all that's here. Y'all continue to live this life because at the end of the day, there's a reward for it. And that reward Amen. is your life. Amen. 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 I do thank and praise the Lord for uh, Mother Essie. Uh, she's not here, but Sister Demetria, Mom, my auntie, she will be celebrating her 93rd birthday on the 22nd. Yeah. Yeah. So, continue to pray for her, Mother 
S.C. Pye, that the Lord has strengthened her and strengthened Zemita and all the other siblings as they continue to help take care of their mom. Yes. Also, on this Friday, October 25th, Brian Costello Moore will be happy for the Lord. So continue to pray for him, the um, young people, and the Lord continue to strengthen them, and the Lord be with them while they go to school, college, Amen. or whatever on their jobs, and the Lord will continue to bless and keep them. Do thank and praise the Lord. Come here to tell your family, friends, and loved ones. That's Saturday. Don't have the date in front of me, but the second Saturday, we will be here at 7 o'clock, and the Sunday, I believe it's November the 10th, we will be here at 11 o'clock. So continue to pray for us here because we are striving to live a life of the Lord and the way of holiness. You know, that's the only way um, God will be pleased and accept us as we continue to strive to live a holy and a sanctified life. Coming up this Sunday, for Sunday, we will be in Tallahassee. We will be our beautiful young adult service. And Monday, fourth Monday, we will have fourth Monday prayer and tarot service. Please come out to be in our fourth Monday prayer and tarot service at seven o'clock. We do thank and praise the Lord for everyone that is here. May the Lord continue to strengthen and bless you and give you your heart desires. Yes. Service back in hands of Minister Corey. Amen. Thank God for those announcements. Let's go with ourselves according to uh, We thank God for y'all being here. Thank God for your testimony. Yes. Amen. God is good. Yeah. At this time, we'll ask everyone to stand. Amen. We'll get ready to read our offertorial scripture. Offertorial scripture reading will coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 through 9. But this I say, he was so sparingly, should reap also sparingly. He was so bountifully, should reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposes in his heart. So let him give, not grudgingly or necessity. For God loves the cheerful giver. God is able to make all grace abound towards ye. Always have all sufficiency in all things, be abound to every good work. As it is written, if this verse is abroad, they have given to the poor, his righteousness remains forever. Amen. 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 At this time, we'll get ready to have my uh, lift one church off and actually follow the direction of the usher. I'm running for my life. 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 Oh, I'm running for my life. Running for my life. I'm running for my life. I'm running for my life. Oh, if anybody has you.
was running for our lives. And God, amen, has been good unto us. At this time, amen, we get ready for the word of God. Amen. We're going to ask you to hold your ears out to hear the word of God. Amen. At this time, we'll turn the remainder of the service in the hands of God. Oh, oh. 